Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the cards, and we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week, that is going to be the Nine of Swords, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that Taro is offering to uh, the challenges, yeah, that Taro is offering and you will have to face throughout the week, that is to be the Knight of Wands, <clears throat> followed by the uh, third card here which stands for the positive aspect of the week, uh, quite interesting really, uh, the Ace of Wands is what we do have. And the last one, which represents the guidance that Taro is offering to you, that will be the world card. Hmm. Well, that that is see quite of a um, quite of a kicker, is what we have. All right. So uh, nine of swords, which is the topic, is going to be catalyzed. Yeah, now that makes sense by the star. Alright, so uh, we do have a goal, a goal that you are to place um, this week, a big goal, really, a, a goal that it is a, a dream. So that, that speaks that you are to, as well, have the necessary means in order to start going for that goal. Now, this is the problem, however, Sagittarius, is that there are to be way too much question marks going forward with that goal so it's it's kind of like a uh, simultaneously a week where you place a goal but in the same time um having the patience and really having the awareness to take it easy right to take it slow and steady instead of rushing forward with it and uh being kind of like surprised and devastated if you will overwhelmed by the issues and by the problems that the performance toward that goal is to offer so take it like this you are to place a goal and then you're then you're gonna take your time to lift yourself above the situation so you can kind of like foresee and predict where there are to be a major setbacks major predicaments and afterwards you know um kind of like make an inaccurate strategy so you can overcome everything that comes uh, in your way. Uh, that is for a reason, it is because you are also going to be very, very aware that your actions are going to have a huge repercussions, not only towards you, but also toward a, the people around. That is coming from the Nine of Swords, which points that uh, it's kind of like a, uh, how can I say it, that every everything you do can turn out very badly all right it can but it may not and that is where you're going to take it easy so you can figure out the best way you know how you can proceed forward with your career with the goal of your career or with the goal of your uh, relationship you know so you can make it as painless 
and even deprive it from a pain as uh, as possible. Now, needless to say, here it is that with these two cards, it looks like that you as well are going to uh, enjoy quite a lot of support from those that likes you, all right, from those that loves you, from those that are faithful to you and uh, from that and that support is going to be uh, if not with anything else is going to be supported by a unfolding love as well so the other card here which stands as a challenge that is going to be the knight of wands and it is catalyzed by the five of cups Hmm. Uh, so we do have in an active uh, enemies in this position and we do have a person that is going to be the challenge this person simply does not see the uh, see the things your way i mean they do see the goal they do see that the goal is very good they do want to get with you toward that goal but they just don't see that there are to be a lot of predicaments all right they just don't see your way that there are to be a lot of setbacks along the way so we can say that this is quite of an inexperienced guy or a girl okay that either performs in your private life or either performs into your uh, career life a either way you shouldn't judge them way way too harshly i mean you need to know that they are very um youthful in spirits it is what i'm trying to say here and also their determination is pretty pretty high and uh, they are ready to offer you helping hand with whatever they can uh, and wherever they uh, they can the point here is is that you need to be a little bit more elaborative uh, with them because th this is what happens with these people they tend to very quickly forget failures okay and so when it comes to that cooperation with you and that person going toward this long-term goal of yours this fulcrum you need to remind them you know that many things can go sour many things can go the wrong way and that's why things should not be recklessly rushed but instead thoroughly um planned okay uh, that regards to relationship that regards to career as well because this could be your future relationship partner this could be as well your future career partner also so you know you want that person to be fully aware how far you are willing to go and as well uh, they need to be fully aware of how you take on things as well so the other card here regards to the positive aspect and this is going to be the ace of wands accompanied with the uh, eight of pentacles we do have an active neutrals into this position and that refers to the uh, uh, to the goal that you are setting the ace of wands here shows us that this is a really really gaining full goal i mean it is it is something that may completely reinnovate your life all right but also it puts a, um, a a point to your awareness that you you know you can't you are not foreseeing everything and for that reason comes the neutral card here where uh while you are keeping yourself quite enthusiastic about the goal of yours you know maybe buying a new car maybe buying a new home you know maybe jumping into a relationship with the knight of wands who knows or if that's your relationship with the knight of wands maybe making the relationship even better but as well keeping a an eye for the minor details in there you know having that uh, that eye for the subtleties and knowing also that it is yours what i mean it is that even though you may take a little bit more time to prepare this is not going to deprive uh you nor the the knights of wands of the same benefits if uh, as the benefits would be if you start right now so instead of recklessly rushing in um on a positive note it looks like that you're gonna take your time to develop a plan and then by initiating your plan you are going to be almost 100 percent secure that at the end of the day you're gonna reap the gains and the benefits from this long-term goal a, a fantastic fantastic week for you um sagittarius and i suggest you guys to start Thing big all right this is the week where you need to start think big where you need to give an expression to your dreams to your wishes 
and your ideas as well. So the final card here points to the um, guidance that Taro is offering. This is going to be the world card and it is accompanied by the two of pentacles. So the guidance comes in two ways, all right? Two things, it is what these two cards are pointing. First of all, you, are, do you, you have no idea how right you are going to be taking your time because these two cards are pointing that there are still things left unfinished and you have to finalize them before you can actually strive toward this long-term big goal that appears for many of you as your dream. The other thing that these two cards are saying as a guidance is that it can happen, right? That, that's very, very important. It can happen, but additionally to that, it points that somewhere along the way, moving forward with your new relationship or with your relationship or with your career, there are to be a moments where you need to let go of certain concepts, you know, of, of certain um, about plans, let's say plans, all right? So you have to be adaptable. You need to be agile. You need to be able to go by as the things come by, all right? So, so work with what you have, get what you uh, take, what you can get and all these kind of stuff and fit them, you know, with your means. And, um, you know, that way you are never going to be disappointed. But definitely as a your guidance, these cards are pointing that your goal, it's a pretty big thing. And finally, at the end of the road, you are going to reach a big culmination, all right? Big closure. And then, you know, and an important chapter of life ends, which is a pretty, pretty good thing. And then a new perspective emerges, all right? So that's why you have to dream and kind of like think big and place a big goals in front of yourself in this week, November 18th to November 24th, 2019. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.